Welcome back everyone. So today I have to clean up my studio aka my living room corner um, but my place is a mess right now. I have to clean up my palettes. I have to clean up my carts that hold all of my paint and stuff. They're terribly disorganized um, and yeah just overall clean up. I have brushes from old paintings that I let sit in the cups for like weeks so yeah it is a mess and I have a commission painting that I need to get done and I wanted to really clean up my space before I got started on that. So stick around. So this is my acrylic palette. How satisfying is that? Um, way easier to clean than my oil palette. I'll link these below. I have two different sizes. The palette I use for my acrylics is 12 by 16 and my oil palette is a 16 by 20. Since these are glass palettes, I use this razor blade scraper thing. I'll link it below, but it helps to not scratch the palette and then get, you know, paint in there and the scratches that you can't get out. And, um, yeah, just be careful if you're using it. I have to change the blade, but, um, it does the job. look at my oil palette it is a mess I ended up not even actually completely cleaning this off because I had to let it soak with some linseed oil to try to loosen up some of the dry paint but yeah it was taking me forever I was like I have to move on also I wanted to mention I put Geneva paint out on this palette probably two months ago and it is still wet so yeah, check out that paint. I have a review. I'll link it here up in the corner. And uh, yeah, check it out. It's really good for wet on wet oil painting. And like I said, two months ago, guys, it is still usable. Everything else that you're seeing me having such difficulty is just like your standard um, Windsor & Newton artist grade paint that I left out for a long, long, long time. So... Who else has dogs and cats and cat hair and dog hair everywhere? I do. It gets in my paintings, it gets in my paint, it gets in my brushes. It's everywhere. Everywhere. I'll link this mat down below. It's really good for your back when you're standing and painting. So meet one of my cats, Marty, and this is one of my dogs, Bo. He is giving me the I'm so bored face. Please take me outside. So I have two separate bins or carts. One I do all of my acrylic stuff in and the other I put all of my oil stuff in. So I just needed to clean that up. I had a lot of paint that was used up, needed to get thrown out. So I just wanted to do a general cleanup. I have to say, once I started using oil paint, I don't like acrylic paint as much. The only benefit for me with acrylic is if I need to make something in a pinch and it dries super fast and I can varnish it quickly but I strongly dislike acrylic now. <laughs> I just feel like it dries so fast and even using the spray bottle and the retarder and the paint. I don't know. Comment below if you use acrylics and if you like acrylic or oil better. <music> Thank you.
I ruined so many paintbrushes. Look at all of this. I left so much sitting out. Like, what? I don't know what I was thinking. I was super busy, but... <sighs> yeah. So, that went in the garbage. A couple did, actually. I don't even know what was on that. It was like glue. So these are all of my acrylic brushes that I'm washing, but my oil brushes I really don't clean that much honestly. I have a small dish where I put either linseed oil or walnut oil in and while I'm using my oil brushes I'll wipe them with maybe a paper towel or something and then I let them rest in the oil and it keeps the bristles nice. I don't have any problem with the paint drying. If you use oil paint, comment below how frequently do you wash your brushes? Do you wash your brushes or do you kind of use dirty ones like I do? So these are my carts all organized. It doesn't look like much but it is better than it was and I hope this video inspires you to clean up your workspace also and start a new project in a clean space. Um, I'm starting a commission piece that's due next week. I'll be posting the process of this commission in an upcoming video, so check back for that. Thank you so, so much for watching if you made it this far, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.